Hello, besties, and welcome back. Welcome if y'all are new. It is your girl Jazzy J on the mic, and as y'all can see, we are bringing back the Capricorn versus All Signs love readings. I have missed them. I know you guys have missed them too. We are kicking them off with Capricorn and Libra in love. You guys already know the deal. Sit back, relax, take a chance, smash your like buttons, leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure those three things. Don't forget to make show. You subscribed here to the channel for more content and for more of me. Capricorn, we are going to dive right into these messages. Remember, we are taking a look at energies as separate entities, and then we will go from there. I'm not going to say this is Capricorn or this is Libra. That's for you to figure out. This is your relationship, not mine. All right. So if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's okay. Take what does leave the rest behind. We are going to start here with some general overall energies between Capricorn and Libra in the connection. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, Capricorn. What is going on here? Show us more here between Capricorn and Libra in love. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. One more here. And separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So it really does feel like you guys are in some sort of period of separation. It does feel like somebody is trying to call another person into the connection. It may not even necessarily be the both of you calling each other in. It may just, it, it feels like someone is, it doesn't necessarily feel like both parties are. It feels like somebody is reflecting and then the other party is like, please, somebody answer the call. Give your relationship a chance. Again, it's it feels like somebody wants this to work. Somebody, I don't know if it's you, Capricorn. I don't know if it's you, Libra. I know I have cross watchers here. So I don't know who it is, but it feels like both one person's not interested. They're like, I don't want this. And it feels like you two are in some sort of a separation here. It really does. It really does feel like you two are in some sort of a separation period. It feels like you two are in some sort of a disconnection, right? We're just, we're not really together. Or if y'all are together, it's like we're not on the same page type of situation. Show us what we need to see here, please, between Capricorn and Libra in love, please, Spirit. Thank you so much for the messages thus far. It feels like somebody's longing for the other person. And it feels like one person is literally trying to get away spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally. The other person's like, no, type shit. It's like fear. Expecting the worst, afraid of failure, wasting time on negative thoughts. Fear. So we have one person in a state of fear. One person is very fearful here. And I feel like a part of this fear, yeah, because the other person is stressed the fuck out. Bottom of the deck is divine counterpart with decisions and overcoming obstacles. It really does feel like the both of you want a very optimistic outcome in your own personal relationships. Together, whether that's together or whether that's separately, that's going to be on your own situation. It feels like the two of you do want something very optimistic for yourselves that doesn't necessarily mean you want that with each other it it feels like you want something positive you want something happy but one person definitely does not want that with the other person there's stress there's stress there's concern cleanse and detoxify from unnecessary commitments and it feels like whoever is resonating with the stress feels like this connection is an unnecessary commitment whereas the person that's fearful is like they're expecting the worst in all this of the connection, but their fear is really impeding their clarity. So let's dig into this a little bit. You know, let's see what wants to come through here. Angel spirits and guides, I appreciate you guiding these messages for Capricorn and Libras that are here for these messages about love. 
show us what we need to see here please spirit for capricorns and libras that are here for love we're taking a look at this energy of fear we're going to get three across and then we'll get a look at the energy of stress three across and then we'll read the messages okay so show us what we need to see here please spirit so we have the chariot cancerian energy it's an energy of path an energy of purpose energy of drive doing things for the family doing things for the home show us what we need to see here please spirit we have the page of pentacles it feels like this person is almost acting out of a sense of fear right it's like this person is acting in a manner in which it's like they want this to happen for themselves here we have the page of pentacles four of pentacles and then the chariot so we have cancerian energy like i stated we have earth energy here capricorn virgo taurus and then we have capricorn energy here with the four of pentacles the four of pentacles does represent um somebody that may be closed off blocked off or holding on very tightly um you know, in a very toxic way to something really looking to spark something new in the physical that may not necessarily be there. It feels like there's this overt energy being put in um, unnecessarily. I almost feel like this person is acting from a place of fear, like they're acting from a place I didn't mean to say fear like that, like acting from a place of like emotional fear, right? A, a place of loss. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands and we have the King of Cups here. It really does feel like this person that is is getting stress from this situation, emotion, like emotional, physical, whatever, it feels like they're trying to progress forward very independently very powerfully it feels like their their energy and efforts are being focused here on self it feels like their energy and efforts are being focused on you know their passions their powers um their talents their skills their abilities things that make them feel good and they're in a very mature energy they're in a very mature light you know it feels like the person that's acting out of fear um, I mean, they're coming through as the page out of out of any of the, the court cards. So they are coming through as the most immature energy And this page of Pentacles. It feels like it's taken this person a very long time to really realize and understand that this connection may not necessarily be what they think it is. It does feel like the person is taking this stress and using it as fuel in order to drive them going into something new here because I feel like they're pursuing something new going after something new whoever is maybe receiving the stress from the situation we have the queen of pentacles the four of wands and the king of wands i'm going to be very honest whoever whoever was feeling more stressed about this than fearful like clinging on latching on it feels like they are arriving into something new and whether this be for personal gain or whether this be for relationship gain it really does feel like this person has moved on into something new here let's do a little bit of clarification for the situation tell us a little bit more here about person b we're taking a look at this energy where stress is involved what is this person connecting to it it almost feels like they may even be connecting to another lover another person here This could be something that they're keeping secret as well. You may not even necessarily know about this or you may not necessarily be expressing this to this person. Yeah, we have the two of swords. I feel like it's something that's being kept, kept very close to the vest. Um, you know, yeah, queen of wands. This could even be like somebody is stepping out emotionally, like acting, acting on sexual pleasures and sexual activity and flirting and things like that even going past the flirting type of thing because of 
you know, n not feeling emotionally fulfilled or feeling very stressed out about the situation. We do have death here. This is a transformative energy. It is also scorpionic energy. And it's things that happen at night. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have Temperance here. I feel like this person may be unbalancedly unbalancedly giving themselves um, as well. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the Queen of Wands coming out twice, though, um, is really leading me to think that this person is using their sexual tendencies and their passions and their pleasures to do something here. And I feel like there may be a lack of affection in the connection because this person is doing something outside of the relationship. Now, the Ten of Swords coming out is a little bit of regret, a little bit of pain. But I also feel like this is like mentally burdening this person, right? Two of Cups, Temperance, Nine of Wands. They may have been, again, just like giving their energy to another person. This doesn't necessarily have to mean that I'm, I'm getting that heavy, though. Um, this is also somebody acting, again, on their passions, on their pleasures, ending cycles, um, again, but doing things that are making them feel good, doing things that are making them happy without telling the other person, right? And then all of a sudden they're like, boom, I'm going, I'm doing this, that, and the third. We have the four swords here. I feel like there's a lot of things that are being kept to self. And I don't feel like this is, you know, for everybody, this is going to be about the stepping out the infidelity type of energy. Show us more here, please, for Capricorn and Libra in love. Tell us a little bit more. We're going to take a look at this uh, energy that's attached to the fear with the chariot, the page of pentacles and the four of pentacles. And I feel like this person is fearful of really showing their passionate, their their passion, their pleasurable side, not giving all of who they are. And that may be a, a reason why there's infidelity as well. Eight of Wands, Seven of Cups. The Emperor, wow, the Six of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, it feels very much like this person is giving themselves and because they're giving themselves to so many different energies and entities, and I feel like a part of this can just be like pursuits, things that they want to do, th things that they're interested in. But because they're giving themselves in so many different lights, they don't necessarily have enough left to give to this person here. Or maybe they just don't want to give to this person. And now there's separation happening, but is it too late? The Hierophant, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this could be just like this person's pursuits, what this person is into, what this person is doing. And because they're giving their energy in so many different places, it's like maybe they don't have enough left to give. But this person also doesn't want to reprioritize certain things in order to give to this person. So now they're like, fuck it, I'm going to go and do my own thing. And, you know, I feel very much like this person has, you know, passions, like they're following their passions. I feel like they're what they're engaged in is very much on their path and things like that. But it's about them realizing that there needs to be reprioritization of certain things if you want to engage in a relationship if not that has to be known i do feel like this person is very spiritual and very high vibrational they do have a good head on their shoulders they're coming through as the emperor but there's also this page energy that's here as well there's this very immature energy 
in relation to relationships and in relation to how they kind of go about. Because even if we take a look at the cross, we see the Page of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Knight of Cups. So they're even coming through immaturely as the approach. So it just feels like very quick, but very immature. Um, so not knowing how to really approach the situation here. So let's grab some messages here. This could be from you to them or from them to you. Show us what we need to see. Messages, Capricorn and Libra. I wish you were here with me. I regret what I did to you. I can't let you go. You deserve better than them. And I've been watching your socials, admiring your pictures. <sighs> Capricorn, Libras, cross watchers of all. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for joining me. And thank you guys for waiting and sticking out before I bought back the Capricorn versus all signs readings. I love you guys so, so much. And I appreciate you. And don't forget to check out the playlist for all of the other signs. And I'll speak to you guys very soon.